Hi all, welcome to the benchmarking video of this Dell Optiplex 7020. Now first of all I talked through briefly as to what problems I had during refurbishing this build. So the first thing I noticed were the RAM sticks were in the wrong slot so they weren't actually running in the more efficient dual channel mode. So I put them in the correct slots. I added a solid state drive to the case um, but I found a problem in that there was only room in the hard drive cage for one drive so I secured it to the bottom of the cage and moved a few of the cables out the way so it could the cage could be closed and I secured the drive with some electrical tape and a single screw so that's all okay now and then I discovered there wasn't enough SATA power connectors there was just the one for the one drive hard drive so what I've did was get a dual connection from eBay they're really cheap so now there's enough power for two drives to be connected um, DirectX 9 is needed for some of the older games and I did discover that actually wasn't part of the installers in some cases so I got the uh, installer from Microsoft to preempt any issues with not having Direct, uh, DirectX 9 installed. The graphics card has a display port and DVI video outputs. Now in a lot of monitors might not have those connectors so I've got a display port to HDMI cable just in case. So moving on to the actual graphical benchmarks if you're interested in such figures Looking at heaven, the final score is 399. That's running in low quality on the highest resolution. Same thing for Valley, which is a score of 576. And PC Mark 10 overall score is 3259. So what I'm going to do now is start up a few games. Now the frames per second count will be in the top left. But just in case this video won't pick it up, I will discuss that reading and also the general performance of each game. Now I'm going to record the footage as I'm doing at the moment on Bandicam so the quality will be a lot better but the performance of the game will degrade slightly which again I'll discuss what that is. This is Apex Legends. Um, it can be quite taxing on the lower spec machine so I've put all the settings down to minimum it still looks good um, we're getting 30 frames per second and Bandicam is taking a little bit of resource so you'll have to take that into account um, So yeah, as I keep saying, sound like a stuck record here. If you can get above thirty, um, then that's uh, that's that's fine on a game like this. Right, so that's Apex Legends. Now this is a game in the Borderlands series called Borderlands: The Pre-Sequel Remastered. Remastered probably means uh, some of the visuals have been upgraded slightly. Um, and we're getting above 30 which is which is just fine there's a few characters moving on the screen i think there's a a borderlands 3 in this series so it may play that on low but at the moment this is looking more than playable with just a few characters on the screen and i haven't even got the settings set to minimum either okay so that's borderlands pre-sequel remastered this is the game in the call of duty series called call of duty world at war now you can be sure that this machine will play the games prior to this and it may even play some of the later ones because with us a lot of the settings on high we're getting a, a respectable 30 or late 20s with a lot I mean it's quite a lot of action and effects uh, on this opening scene so if you can get that then uh, that's that's fine 
Okay, so that's Call of Duty World at War. Now, I don't normally do this, but I've just returned back to Call of Duty World at War. And I did notice that Bandicam must be taking minimum 5 to 10 frames per second resource, according to that counter. So you can take it from me with a lot of these games that uh, that's probably going to be a, a similar sort of thing. Right, so that's Call of Duty World at War. So, returning to Crisis, which you can always rely on as a decent benchmark even today. So, just get some of these characters moving. Got all the quality settings set to medium, and we're getting a respectable mid to high 30s uh, in some parts, getting over. 40 which is just just fine in this game may even play crisis 2 but i'm almost certain that uh, it won't play crisis 3 right so that's the first crisis this is dying light 2 which is a post-apocalyptic zombie type game so indoors we're getting nudging 50 with not a lot of characters on the screen. Now, I did notice there was a startup error, something to do with a tick count, which I don't really quite understand, but uh, I haven't had any problems since I've started this up. Um, there's a character there, and I'm sure that, that count will go down. A touch if there's more characters moving on the screen um, but I think Dying Light's more about exploration rather than action so should be okay with that I mean I've got all the settings set to the minimum right so that's Dying Light 2 this is Far Cry 2 now you can be sure this system will play the first Far Cry on very high settings no problem um, getting late 30s, 40s frames per second with a few characters moving on the screen. Um, not sure if it'll play Far Cry 3, which will be uh, an upgraded graphical engine. But at the moment, with just a few effects going on and characters, um, it's not having too much difficulty playing this game. Okay, so that's Far Cry three, uh, Far Cry two. This is FIFA from 2015. I've got all the settings to low and the minimal resolution, and I've even capped that frame rate to 30 to cut down on the stutters. But it's actually all over the place at the moment. It's mid mid teens, um, then nudges 30, and I don't think there's any other processors running at the moment. So you're actually better off, even though it looks all right, um, you're actually better off playing some of the ga FIFA games later in the series because this just stutters too much for some reason. I'm not sure why. Um, post in a comment if you've got any idea. actually less tax on the system than some of the first-person shooters. Right, so that's FIFA 2015. Right, so this is Fortnite using the performance rendering mode and a few of the settings set onto medium and at the moment looking outdoors with not too many characters with the character over there we're getting mid to high 30s which is uh, which is just just fine I mean it looks all right to me uh, I'll see what the driving's like so yeah there's a few dips um, and don't forget, Bandicam's obviously taking some some of the performance away. But uh, this machine has no problems playing Fortnite. Okay, so this is Rocket League. Now, the settings you can select either quality or performance or ba a good balance. And I've set them to performance, which is not the lowest rating at the moment we get in late 20s 
probably on average 30 and this is looking all right to me but quality on uh, esports is not uh, not the driving force really so i think this is uh, this is a good balance right so that's rocket league 